Use a tangent line to approximate the value of the following function at the point negative 0.9 comma 1.9, and our function is f of x comma y equals the square root of the quantity 14 minus x squared minus y squared. A tangent line approximation can also be referred to as a linear approximation for a function f of x comma y. To begin, notice the given point is somewhat messy, so we'll use a more convenient point near this point to determine the tangent line approximation or linear approximation. So the given point, negative 0.9 comma 1.9, indicates for our notes below, x is negative 0.9 and y is 1.9, and we're gonna use the convenient point of negative 1 comma 2 to make our approximation, which for the formula below indicates that a equals negative 1 and b equals 2. And now let's look at our notes below. f of x comma y is approximately equal to l of x comma y, where L of x comma y is a linear approximation or tangent line approximation, which equals f of a comma b, the function value at the convenient point, in our case of negative one comma two, plus differential z, which is the change of z along the tangent plane. This is equal to f of a comma b plus differential z, where differential z equals the partial of f with respect to x at a comma b, times the quantity x minus a, plus the partial of f with respect to y, at a comma b times the quantity y minus b. Let's begin by determining the first order partials of f. To begin, let's write the square root using the rational exponent of one half, where the given function f of x comma y is equal to the quantity 14 minus x squared minus y squared raised to the power of positive one half. And now let's work on determining the first order partials. To determine the partial of f with respect to x, we differentiate with respect to x, treating y as a constant, which gives us 1 half times the base of 14 minus x squared minus y squared to the power of 1 half minus 1, which is negative 1 half, and then times the derivative of the base with respect to x, treating y as a constant. The derivative of 14 minus x squared minus y squared with respect to x, treating y as a constant, is equal to negative 2x. Simplifying, notice 1 half times negative 2 is negative 1, Let's write this as negative x divided by the square root of the quantity 14 minus x squared minus y squared. And now determine the partial of f with respect to y, which indicates we now differentiate with respect to y, treating x as a constant. So we still have 1 half times the base of 14 minus x squared minus y squared to the power of negative 1 half. But now we multiply by the derivative of 14 minus x squared minus y squared with respect to y, treating x as a constant, giving us negative 2y. Simplifying, we have negative y divided by the square root of the quantity 14 minus x squared minus y squared. And now we need to evaluate these first order partials at a comma b, meaning the convenient point at negative one comma two. We also need to evaluate the original function at negative one comma two. So first, the partial of f with respect to x at negative one comma two is equal to negative x is negative negative one divided by the square root of the quantity 14 minus the square of negative one minus the square of two. Simplifying, we have positive one divided by the square root of nine, giving us one third. And now we'll evaluate the partial of f with respect to y at the point negative one comma two, which is equal to negative two divided by the same square root, the square root of the quantity 14 minus the square of negative one minus the square of two, which equals negative two divided by the square root of nine, which is negative two thirds. And again, we also need f of the quantity negative one comma two, which equals simply the denominator again. We have the square root of the same quantity. F of negative one comma two is equal to three. And now we can make our tangent line approximation for the function at the point negative 0 0.9 comma 1.9. The true function value F of negative 0 0.9 comma 1.9 is approximately equal to the linear approximation L of negative 0 0.9 comma 1.9, which is equal to the function value 
at the convenient point of negative one comma two, plus the partial of f with respect to x at the point negative one comma two, times the quantity x minus a, this is really differential x or delta x, which is negative 0 0.9 minus negative one. Again, x is negative 0 0.9 and a is negative one. And then we have plus the partial of f with respect to y at the point negative one comma two times the quantity y minus b, which is 1.9 minus two, which is delta y or differential y. And now we'll simplify. f of negative one comma two is three, and then we have plus the partial of f with respect to x at negative one comma two, which is one third, times negative zero point nine minus negative one, which is negative zero point nine plus one, which is zero point one or one tenth. Let's write it as a fraction as one tenth. And then plus the partial of f with respect to y at negative one comma two, which is negative two thirds and then times the quantity 1.9 minus two, which is negative 0.1 or negative one-tenth. And again, this difference is really just differential y or delta y. And now we'll simplify the sum. We have three plus one-thirtieth, and then plus two-thirtieths, which equals three and three-thirtieths, which is equal to three and one-tenth, or 3.1. So in conclusion, our approximation for f of negative 0.9 comma 1.9 using a linear approximation or a tangent line approximation is approximately 3.1. I do want to mention determining this linear approximation would be the same thing as determining the equation of the tangent plane at the convenient point of negative one comma two and then determining the z value on the tangent plane for the point negative 0.9 comma 1.9. I hope you found this helpful.